Um, as Sean said, I'm Rianne Phillips. I'm Senior Archivist at Glamorgan Archives, where I have responsibility for access and community engagement. And today I'm going to be speaking very briefly about a collaborative public engagement project between Glamorgan Archives and a research student at Cardiff University. Um, each year, Glamorgan Archives runs tours of the office, combined with an introduction to our collections and our services for research students and staff at Cardiff University. And following one of these visits, we were approached by Charlotte Bowman, a student in the School of English Communication and Philosophy. Charlotte's topic is domestic iconography, photographic representations of family life in the mid-Victorian period. I did get that right. Um, Charlotte was seeking to introduce an element of public engagement to her work through the Afterlife of Heritage project, which I'll tell you about later. Um, and following her visit to Glamorgan Archive, she recognised the possibilities of combining her expertise and knowledge with our public engagement skills. Um, Charlotte has a background as a teacher, having taught at sixth form and FE colleges before returning to education. Um, she therefore suggested producing a research for schools. And drawing on our work with schools at Glamorgan Archives, we suggested a resource targeted at Welsh baccalaureate students. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of the Welsh Bac, it's delivered to all post-16 um, students across Wales, and from 2015 will be delivered to all post-14 students. Um, it's studied alongside qualifications like A-levels and NVQs, and its aim is to provide a broader and more diverse learning experience for the students, through the, through the study of a wide range of topics and the provision of opportunities which help students to improve their knowledge, understanding and interpersonal skills. And Charlotte's work seemed to fit in with this as opposed to the more traditional um, school curriculum. In designing the resource, Charlotte and I also sought advice from one of the Welsh Back Development Officers at the Welsh Joint Education Committee, the WJC, and that was Ross Thomas. As archivists, we also drew on our knowledge of our collections to suggest suitable photographs on which to base the resource. Um, the collections suggested by us, and then selected by Charlotte, were the Thompson family of Cardiff papers. Um, the collection includes a large number of family photographs and photo albums, and this is one of my favourites from the collection. It shows um, Alexander and Eleanor, grandfather and granddaughter, and it's quite unusual, this collection, because it does show Victorian people at home, shows their family life, which you don't usually get to see in photographs of stern Victorians, the sort of thing that we're used to seeing. Charlotte's intention was to produce a research, re resource which could be used by teachers in the classroom, but which would ideally be used as a basis for a workshop by classes visiting the Morgan Archives. Um, advice from us at the Archives, having worked regularly with schools, um, and also this advice was confirmed by Ross Thomas from the WJC, was that funding would be an issue when attracting schools in to undertake the workshop. Um, key obstacles for schools when arranging visits and trips are the cost of transport, and for secondary schools in particular, the cost of teacher supply cover. So we decided that in order for the project to get off the ground, we would need initially to offer some sort of funding to cover these costs. Now, Glamorgan Archives already has funding to subsidise transport to the archives for schools by up to 75%. This is through a grant from Camal uh, Museums, Archives and Libraries, Wales. Charlotte then sought funding from the Afterlife of Heritage initiative to cover teacher supply costs. Now, the Afterlife of Heritage um, project is a research skills training project funded by the AHRC, aiming to provide research students and early career researchers with the skills needed to develop a career in the heritage sector. The research to public strand, in which Charlotte was involved, seeks to help researchers in understanding the public impact of their research and developing a public engagement element to their work. Um, funding was available for several projects running collaboration between researchers and cultural partner. Charlotte and I attended afterlife workshops and Charlotte was successful in gaining, gaining funding for her proposal. Now it was just a very small amount, we're not talking mega bucks here, Charlotte got £400, which isn't huge, but it was just enough for us to kick this project off and to get things started. So what was the result of all the planning? 
Um, Charlotte created a resource uh, photographing the family in the 19th century, and this was made available via the WJEC website. It included a PowerPoint presentation, you can see one of the slides here, along with notes for teachers, so that it meant it could be easily used by teachers in the classroom. Posters advertising the workshops to be held at Glamorgan Archives were designed by us at the Archives in collaboration with Cardiff University, and they were circulated to schools um, through our distribution lists at the Archives and also via the WJEC. Um, the idea was to hold the workshops at Glamorgan Archives, and they would be day-long workshops. In the morning, the classes would visit and learn about Glamorgan Archives, tying in to the work-related related education and individual investigation elements of the Welsh Baccalaureate. Um, all Welsh Bac students have to do 30 hours volunteer work as part of the Welsh Bac, and they also have to do an individual investigation, which is their own project, sort of a mini dissertation really, which has to include current affairs and also has to include a comparative element. And for us at the Archives, this is something we can link into because we can compare current issues with similar issues in the past, especially things like um, protest and so on. Um, so the first school booked and the workshop was a success, which is great. Um, the event was a combination of Charlotte speaking and leading discussion, group activities, um, we also introduced practical photography activities because we thought this would really engage the students, largely because we're talking about a digital de generation here, teenagers who have cameras on their phones, and if things happen, whatever happens in their life, they tend to document it on their phones, upload the photographs to Facebook, um, Instagram, uh, sort of Twitter, all these sorts of things. So we had them doing some practical photography, but actually thinking more like the Victorians would have been the photography studios and at home, about staging photographs. Um, we also used examples from films of Victorian photography, particularly relating to Memento Mori, um, because we thought that would appeal to young people because it's quite gruesome. Um, yeah, the first school booked, and it was Michelson College in Cardiff. And that school is um, from one of the most deprived areas of Cardiff, Ely, which is in the west of the city, and is a very large housing estate. Um, they hadn't previously worked with Glamorgan Archives, and they hadn't worked with Cardiff University either. And they certainly wouldn't have taken up the opportunity if it wasn't for the fact that we were be able to offer them funding through the Afterlife of Heritage initiative. Um, we hope that the school will return in future and that um, we can build on the relationship now that it's been established. Um, that the school will bring classes back to do the workshop again uh, in future years and that also individual students will come back to us for assistance with our Welsh back work. Um, the project's ongoing. Um, we started the um, workshops in May, June time, which wasn't ideal because we were about to hit the summer holidays. Um, but we have more workshops now going to take place over the autumn, so we are carrying on. Um, and they will be offered for the foreseeable future. And blog posts detailing the project can be found on the Afterlife of Heritage blog. Um, the project's also sustainable. Um, the resource will exist and will continue to be made available to schools via the WJEC website. It's not going anywhere, it's going to stay there. And we'll continue to offer the workshops as well at Glamorgan Archives to any schools who want to come in and study this topic with Welsh Bac students. Um, just to finish off, this isn't the first or last collaborative public engagement project with the HE sector at Glamorgan Archives. Um, we worked on um, a writing historical fiction project which comprised a number of public workshops led by Dr Spencer Jordan, who's Programme Director of MA Humanities Programmes at Cardiff Metropolitan University. And we also worked on the Kaya Heritage Project, which is a collaboration between archaeologists from Cardiff University, um, Ely and Kaya Communities First, local residents and local schools to explore the history and archaeology of the Cardiff suburbs of Kaya and Ely from prehistory through to the modern day helping to connect the communities and encourage them to develop their own heritage. Um, Glamorgan Archives has been involved in two strands of this, churchyard detectives and poverty detectives. And these projects, along with the um, work that we did with Charlotte, have proved to be a great way of combining the expertise of academics and archivists, making the most of each other's strong points, exploiting the archive collections, providing young people and communities with aspirations through history, and also creating a sustainable legacy. Thank you.
Thank you.